welcome to our Christmas service. Using readings and carols, this service will include some aspects of Advent and the Christmas story and will conclude with Holy Communion using a Christmas liturgy. I am a wise man looking for a sign. I believe that the world is meant to be a fairer place and that I should help to change it. I have access to people of power and authority, but I'm not sure how to use my influence. Pray for me and for all other influential ones who are waiting on a sign. I am a poor widow looking for a purpose. I am tired of being talked about, treated as a statistic, pushed to the margins of human conversation. I want to meet someone who will have time for me, someone who will listen to me, someone who will not take for granted who I am or what I have to offer. Pray for me and for all poor people who are waiting to be taken seriously. I am an old man waiting for death. I have looked at the world so long that it wearies me. I have prayed to God so hard for my people do be delivered from all that diminishes and destroys them. And I wonder as my life closes, if change will ever come. Pray for me and for all older folk who are waiting for a saviour. I am a young mother waiting for my child to be born. I feel the new life inside me. I sense great promise throughout me. I know my love grows for the one I have not seen. Yet I fear that the world may be a hostile place for the little one who is to come. Pray for me and for all expectant mothers who are waiting for their child to be born. I am every woman and every man. In my loneliness I am waiting to be visited. In my uncertainty 
I am waiting to be reassured. In my happiness, I am waiting for a deeper fulfilment. In my soul, I am waiting to be wanted. Pray for me and for yourself, for we are all waiting. I am the Lord your God. I have waited on you and have heard your prayer. Now is the right time and I am coming soon. So prepare a way in the desert, a cradle in the hay, a meeting place in the marketplace, a table in an upstairs room, a cross on a hill, a grave in a garden, a throne in your heart as in heaven. For now again I will bend down and remember you. I will answer your prayer and your waiting will end in joy. When the world was dark when the world was dark and the city was quiet you came you crept in beside us and no one knew only the few who dared to believe that God might do something different will you do the same this Christmas Lord will you come into the darkness of today's world not the friendly darkness as when sleep rescues us from tiredness but the fearful darkness in which people have stopped believing that war will end or that food will come or that a government will change or the church cares. Will you come into that darkness and do something different to save your people from death and despair? Will you come into the quietness of this town, not the friendly quietness as when lovers hold hands, but the fearful silence when the phone has not rung, the letter has not come, the friendly voice no longer speaks, the doctor's face says it all. Will you come into that darkness and do something different, not to distract, but to embrace your people? Will you come into the dark corners and quiet places of our lives? We ask this not because we are guilt-ridden or want to be but because the fullness our lives long for depends on us being as open and vulnerable to you as you were to us 
when you came wearing no more than nappies and trusting human hands to hold their maker? Will you come into our lives if we open them to you and do something different? When the world was dark and the city was quiet, you came. You crept in beside us. Do the same this Christmas, Lord. Do the same this Christmas. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favoured one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God, and now you will receive in your womb and bear a son and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month for her, who was said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. This is the word of the Lord.
A reading from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 2. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him, and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David a Saviour has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. This is the word of the Lord. beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word was with God at the beginning, and through him all things were created. No created thing came into being without him. In the Word was life, and that life was the light of humankind. 
The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has never put it out. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you that when the world was very dark, you came to bring light into our darkness. You came in the night to bring light into the lives of Mary and Joseph. You came to Bethlehem, then as now a very troubled town, bringing light to all who came to trust you. You come to us now, into our lives and into our world, bringing light still to your people. We ask you now once again to accept this worship that we bring as we come again to the manger. Help us to see there the light that will shine for us, not just at Christmas, but every day of the year. Cradle us, God. Fold us into your tears and laughter. Wrap us deep in love. Cradle us, God, weave us into joy and justice, hem us round with hope. Cradle us, God, tumble us into questions and stories, toss us up into joy. Cradle us, God, rock us into rest and dreaming, cuddle us into your peace. And now we come to our Christmas Eucharist. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. All glory and honour be yours always and everywhere. Mighty Creator, ever-living God. We give you thanks and praise for your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, who for the love of our fallen race humbled himself and was born of the Virgin Mary by the power of your Spirit and lived as one of us. In this mystery of the Word made flesh, you have caused his light to shine in our hearts to give knowledge of your glory in the face of Jesus Christ and in the love of a God we cannot see. Therefore, with angels and archangels, we lift our voices to proclaim the glory of your name and say our joyful hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine 
may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread, gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption as we offer you this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. We bring before you this bread and this cup and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord by whom and with whom and in whom in the unity of the Holy Spirit all honour and glory be yours almighty Father forever and ever Amen. Rejoicing in the presence of God here among us, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break the bread of life, and that life is the light of the world. God here among us, light in the midst of us, bring us to light and life. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Jesus, we believe that you are present in this most holy sacrament. May we love you above all things as we desire to receive you into our souls. Since we cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as if you were already there and unite ourselves wholly to you. May we never be separated from you. Amen. Christ is the true bread which has come down from heaven. Lord, give us this bread always.
God our Father, you have made known to us again the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Confirm our faith and fix our eyes on him until the day dawns and Christ the morning star rises in our hearts. Just before our final blessing, can I say thank you to all who have contributed to this service. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and those whom you love this Christmas and forevermore. Amen. Go in peace. Proclaim the word made flesh. Glory and thanks and praise to God. Thank you.